How are you feeling about this, Adam? I'm a scared. <laughs> okay, Adam, so you have your eyes closed here. I put a little shot glass in front of you between you and the flight itself. What I'd like you to do is tell me what style of beer you will be flying blind. Hmm. Smells sweet. Smells malty. definitely an amber. You think sort. so? I think so. I don't think it's a porter. Definitely not a stout. I think that's definitely an amber. All right. Open your eyes. There's your flight in front of you here. Ooh, that looks delicious. <laughs> so, you are correct, sir. All right. It is an amber. So now you have four different ambers in front of you. Okay. Later in this episode, I will tell you what those are. Okay. For right now, I would like you to treat each one as if it is a snifter. So taste it, give some comments, give it a grade, and then we'll go from there. All right. The ones right here. I like your little uh, setup here. Mm hmm It's a Christmas gift from my daughter. Thank you, Bryce. Okay, this is a uh, malty. <laughs> Slight hint of caramel on this one. Okay. No hoppiness. Not a lot of head on any of these, but this one probably had the most. Okay, so this has got some um, strong caramel notes to this. Not hoppy. Slight and a little thin. A little bit of a, a little bit of a, a bite to it. Not a lot though. No, yeah, not a hoppy. Really easy to drink. Um, nice mouthfeel. Little, little, if a little thin, nice mouthfeel. The more I get into it, I do get a little bit of extra bitterness coming out. Not strong, but it's it's there. What would you give it? I would rate this. I'd give this probably about a 3.25, maybe a three and a half. No, I'll go 3.25 on this. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Now, number two. You ready for a palate cleanse? Yeah, let me palate cleanse. Let's do a palate cleanse. All right, so your palate is cleansed. Palate is cleansed. Let's move on to number two. On number two. It's a little bit hazier. This is definitely the, the, the thickest looking of the bunch. Not as strong of a nose, I don't think. Mm -mm, not as strong. I know what this is. This um, this tastes it's 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 definitely thicker. It's sweet. Not very bitter. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Well, we'll go over that later. I will let you know <laughs> what you have to choose from. So it, it it's it's a lot thicker. Um, it's not near. It's not as bitter as this one. Um, what'd you give it? I would give this probably, you bump yourself up a little bit of a head there with this one. I would give this a, uh, three and a half. Okay. Solid three and a half. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Palette is cleansed. Palette is cleansed. Let's try number three. All right. This one has, uh, it's, it's a little bit more see-through, not as hazy as this one, more along this lines. Let's look at it. Smells more caramelly than this one, more along the lines of this one. Not very hoppy. Definitely uh, rich smelling, let's see. Hmm. 
This has the body of this one, but has more of the flavor of this one. This has a little bit of a, a more of a nutty note. It's a little bit nuttier. Definitely the strong caramel uh, vibes. Again, we're going to be, that's the kind of the theme with these ambers here. Um, it is a little bitterness, but it's low and it's, it goes away pretty quick. Get a little bit of a head there. They're all fairly consistent so far? Pretty, yeah, fairly consistent. I'm going to give this one, um, I'm going to give this one a uh, three. I'll give it three and a half. I like the mouthfeel of this one that matches with this. Is, yeah, we'll give this one three and a half too. All right, cool. All right, let's wrap this up. Okay. This is number four. <laughs> Palette is cleansed. I estimate this may be the lightest of the bunch. Okay. They're, they're all fairly consistent color. But I would put this one as probably the lightest. This is definitely the nuttiest. Oh wow, okay. This definitely has the strongest flavor profile of all three. There's a, um, what is that? Very smooth. All three of them, have, or all four of these, have been very smooth. Very smooth. There's a um, different finish that goes with this one. To all the, to all these, it's a. Um, I'm, I'm trying to place it. It's not very bitter on the finish. It's definitely nutty. The sweetness is a little bit low. There's a low bitterness that's that's starting to rise up at the end rises if you know you know if you know you know i'm gonna give this a uh a 3.25 hmm. there's a um the the finish is is strange all right adam so now you have all four of your beers it was actually a fifth beer that one yeah, what was that one? This one, um, if I don't know what this is, um, I don't know what it is. It was is from. That, is that the red oak? Yeah, it's from my my kegerator. Yeah, it's the the red oak amber. It, it 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 had a smoothness to it. Yeah, and it was it was familiar, but I needed a little bit more. Oh, it's fresh from the tap. It's fresh so. from the tap, and, and yeah, it was good. Okay, so I know for a fact. But you've had three of these. I told you that I knew of two because I know of your nope, grades. Now, I've never had this. You've never had I've never had hand. this. Oh, no. Then I stand correct. Two of these I have had. Yes. The, the one of them bookends. Is, <laughs> yes. One of them. So. Yeah. From left to right for our viewers, we've got Rebel Kent. Been on the channel before. Yes, it has. We have Alaskan Amber. One of my wife's all-time favorite beers. We have B2 by Divine Barrel. Neither of us no. has had that as far as I know. Mm. And I will try some after this. <laughs> and then what is this strange concoction right here? This is uh, my first attempt at home brewing. Yeah. It's the first. And now brewed in amber, a, a clone of this. Okay. All right. So now that you know what all four of them are. Okay. I would like you to tell me which one is which. I'm going to go with your grades on these. I can and... go ahead and say this is mine. Okay. Number two is mine. All and, right. Uh, I can pick that one out because I've made enough of it. I've got it. I know what it tastes like. Okay. <laughs> um, I gave my grades. Right. I think I gave these two the highest. Right. Which one would you rate higher? Um... You gonna toot your own horn? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the mouthfeel of, of mine better. I think this probably is a little bit better tasting. Uh, so I would rate 
I'd give mine a three and a half, and maybe this is a 3.65. How about that? Okay, but ranking them one through four. One You've through already four. Uh, one through them, four. So. I would, I would, this one I probably like the best. Okay. I like number three the best. Okay. Um, this is definitely the least. There's a weird finish on the end. Okay. Um, weird finish on the end. Um, I'll put mine at number two because I really like the the mouthfeel of it. Okay. It, I, 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 that came out right for me. So this one would have to be number three. All right. So your order is three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, four. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. So first of all, number one, which one do you think that might be? Oh, um... And no sniffing the cans and bottles not going, and all of yeah. that. Um, I know that I have given this a five before, and I didn't do it now. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm talking about at all. And we will have a link to that video. Yeah. Um, I, I think this one... I think this one is the Alaskan Amber. Okay. That's what I think. The second one you said was yours. That's mine, for sure. What's number three? Um, I think this is Rebel Kent, and this is the, uh, the Nine Barrel. Okay. That's what I think. All right. So, why don't you take the Alaskan Amber and put that right behind the number three. Why don't you put yours behind number two. Put the B2 behind number one. Wow! <laughs> and your wow. perfect five was number four. <laughs> no one should listen to me ever. <laughs> wow, no kidding. So what do you think? Was this fun? In a blind taste test of this, this is good stuff. This this will let you know it it there really is a difference between some of these ambers here. Yeah. If you have them you know back to back like that. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. good stuff. I think we need to make this a regular segment. I think so. All right. This is good. All this right. Good. Wow. Your can was bad. That's what it is. That's what I'm going to say. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is Growing the Glass. This huh? was Flying Blind. Flying Blind, episode one. All right. Crash into the mountain good. <laughs> I'm Adam. Bye.